Corporate takeover of America requires that CEOs hire cronies and family members. And in this game plan, America can be drained and her blood sucked quicker. Take, for instance, the CEO of the Red Cross. She has hired so many of her AT&T cronies that the Red Cross headquarters is now called the AT&T Retirement Program. <laughs> wow. The more you read about America in, this, in her collapse, the more you get sick. Sucking America dry, draining her of every last drop of blood. You and I get the privilege to witness the collapse of America in slow motion. When we talk about the fall of the Roman Greek American Empire, it's all about money. Money, money, money. Follow the money. The theft of money on a scale mankind has never seen before. Imagine what Daniel Boone or Davy Crockett would say say? What would they have thought when the criminal lobbyists come up into the Congress and said, okay, 30 billion for BB, 20 billion for Egypt, 66 billion for the Ukraine, how about 2 billion for him, and how about 5 billion for them? I'm sure Daniel Boone would have grabbed his heart and had a heart attack. Davy Crockett would have been reaching for his, well, follow the stolen money, follow the criminal's loot, what a shame, the people of America are so poor, paycheck to paycheck, and then under the bridge you go. So sad. And if it wasn't bad enough for Americans, apparently the Red Cross is helping the illegals come into the country illegally. Hell, even, even Elon Musk, the foreigner from South Africa, thinks that's criminal. I mean, how do they do this? The Red Cross, assisting in illegal activities, helping people come in to the country illegally when they get most of their money from the American taxpayer. Wow. I mean, if you did a search on the World Wide Web through Google or Yahoo, you could do that search for 6.6 .6 hours straight and you would still not find any information on how much federal government money is given to the Red Cross. Apparently, this is top secret classified information. It is so bad out there. I mean, the corporate takeover of America, the elites get into bed with the nonprofits to get rich. Having a Washington, D.C. or Virginia headquarters is a must for any blood sucking nonprofit who is doing the elite government's bidding. And then you have this Red Cross CEO, AT&T crony, who makes almost $800,000 a year. That does not include perks or the free flights on American airline jets or any other crony airlines. I mean, I cannot say enough about this. I'm actually losing my breath and my mind talking about it. It sucks. But I will leave you with this. I mean, again, Red Cross is helping the illegals come into the country illegally. They're getting taxpayer money, but try to find out how much money, how many millions or billions Red Cross is getting from FEMA because you can't even find it out there. It's all top secret. I find a little bit of 20 million here, 20 million there from the Department of Defense. That's chump change. I mean, they're literally getting so many millions, it might add up to billions. Their company, they have assets of almost $3 billion. Assets. Red Cross has assets of $3 billion. Most of this is coming from the American taxpayers. How much is, are they getting from FEMA? If you do a Google, you won't even be able to find out how many millions or is it billions the taxpayers are giving the Red Cross to bring illegals into the country and God knows what else they're doing.